So the AnyCubic Cobra Go uh, steel nozzle test. I wanted to try printing some carbon fiber laced PLA. And my understanding is, is that there's braces in there that will wear out the standard brass nozzle. So I figured if I test out the steel, the hardened steel nozzle on regular PLA and then tested it on the carbon fiber that I would just leave it, that it would be good for basically uh, anything. As it turns out, I was wrong, it failed. And if you wanna know why, stick around and I'll walk you through exactly what it is that I did. So I installed the nozzle and then I tested the flow to make sure that uh, it, it was flowing well through the nozzle. And as you can see, it does, it flowed very, very well. Next step, I adjusted the bed leveling sensor because this nozzle extends out farther out of the print head and I wanted to make sure that I didn't crash the nozzle into the bed. I kept repeatedly trying to print test cubes and I ended up with globs, as you can see there, and I ended up with the nozzle all covered in uh, filament, although because it's so low down, I couldn't initially see that until I finally got a flashlight and I had a peek underneath. And it's when I saw the nozzle was covered in filament that I realized exactly what had happened. So here's the problem. Although those two nozzles are the same length within a half a millimeter of each other, and the thread for screwing them in is the same as an M6 thread, where you can see the Allen wrench pointed at the nozzles is where the cooling duct from the fan is pointed at on the brass nozzle, which makes sense, and that's what came from any cubic. Whereas the hardened steel nozzle, the fan is pointed at the upper portion of the cone, and it's not doing a proper job of cooling the filament as it's placing it. So this is something to watch out for. To solve the problem, I could extend the duct for the cooling fan, but honestly, that seems like too much trouble. Instead, I'm going to buy a nozzle where the tip is not extended farther down than the AnyCubic version. So when you're looking for a nozzle, two things to look for. One is the length to be careful that you don't extend down too far and the second is ideally you want to get one that has a hex head so it's easier to drive it with that nut driver on the right than it is to be manipulating the nozzle with that little wrench on the left. I reinstalled the original nozzle, reversed the sensor adjustment back to where it was and then I printed this calibration cube and as you can see I mean it came out fantastic so definitely an issue with the fact that that hardened steel nozzle was too long and it was laying down filament out of the path of the cooling fan.